I pray this message finds you safe and healthy. We continue our journey as a faith community, physically separated, but still united in spirit. Given that all our lives are uniquely focused in our homes right now, our Archbishop John Wester has called us to focus on home as the holy place for Holy Week this year. It can feel disconnecting to not be able to gather together for our Holy Week traditions, stations and passion plays, the Triduum liturgies, pilgrimages to Chimayo and Tomé, among many others. Yet we are given a remarkable opportunity for our own spiritual growth at this time. Holy Week is when we encounter the depth of the sacraments we celebrate as they connect us to the passion, death, and resurrection of Jesus. And although these truths are supernatural, they are also rooted in the most ordinary of things. Living in the smallness of our lives right now can open our hearts to how deeply grace is moving in the little things of daily life. The major acts of Jesus in Holy Week show how powerfully God moves in the confines of each of our own homes and families. Jesus cries in the garden, wanting to avoid the path before him. Christ gives himself in the sharing of a meal, in the breaking of the bread. He demonstrates his mission of love and sacrifice and service through the washing of the feet, caring for the basic needs of his companions. He walks to the most universal of human experiences, suffering and death. He himself was concerned for those he loved in the home they would share as he entrusted his mother and his beloved disciple to one another. The disciples sat in silent longing while Jesus' body rested in the tomb. They even lost hope and thought of returning to the normal lives they knew before. These are all the very same acts in their own ways that make up our daily lives in our seclusion. And yet somehow, unknown to the disciples and beyond their imagining, something was at work all along. Grace. Amidst all the drudgeries of their lives, the world was being transformed and Christ was to be raised from the dead. I know many of us may think, I can't wait until things get back to normal. This Holy Week is a time for us to reflect in our households, not just about what we wish we could go back to, but what it is that we have encountered now that will help lead us forward. Is it that we have been sharing more meals together as a family, reaching out to people we know are in need more often? Are we having to be more vulnerable and honest with our emotions and with one another? Are we having to trust in ways we didn't know before? As Christians, our faith never moves us back. There will be no return to what we knew normal to be, but that's okay. In fact, that is beautiful. As we stand in the uncertainty of now, clinging to the ordinary daily domestic things that give us a sense of stability and purpose, we know God must be at work to bring about something new. Mary Magdalene discovered this as she returned to the tomb only to encounter a stranger who was in fact her Lord. She had to learn not to expect him to be as he was, but to meet him anew as he would be. As we sit and wait and watch, let us be entrusted to one another. Let us cherish the small, seemingly predictable moments in life and in our homes, knowing that they are the very things that open our hearts to glimpse the magnificence of God's saving acts. May God transform us this Holy Week, that we may walk together in a newness of life in the Easter season. We invite you to join us in celebrating the Holy Triduum this year. Services will be live streamed via our YouTube page or on our website. Each service for Holy Thursday, Good Friday and the Easter Vigil will be celebrated at 7.30 p.m. Easter Sunday Mass will be pre-recorded and available on our website and YouTube page in the morning. This Easter, remember you are baptized in Christ. Distribution of holy water and blessings will be offered in the parking lot of the church on Easter Sunday, April 12th, 
from 9 until 11 a.m.